What's up everybody, Ricky Caruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you my year-to-date stats, 2020 real estate sales. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of where I am right now at this point of the year and kind of what I see, you know, where I think I'm going and where I think I might end up uh, by the end of the year. Um, it's quite interesting. And also just to let you know, here I am in my garage again. Uh, doing a video, but uh, I've been waiting on these wall acoustics to come to my new studio that's inside my house, my new house, and just shipping has been completely messed up um, since all this started, so I'm um, still waiting on those, but once I do, I promise you guys, I'm going to have some super high quality videos, so be on the lookout for that. So I want to get into these numbers really quickly. Also let you know that tomorrow I'm going to be doing live cold calls with Steven Martinez out of Orlando. We're going to be doing for sale by owners. He's going to be calling. I'm going to be coaching him through it. Um, this guy's a character. You're not going to want to miss that. So I want to put a link in the description for that. That's on my second channel. I named it the Ricky Caruth Show, the second channel. And also next Thursday, next Thursday, 4 p.m. Central, I'm going to personally be making cold calls. So I'm going to be circle prospecting next Thursday on that same channel. So be sure to subscribe to the second channel and tune in because there's a lot of value uh, in those sessions. I'm also doing live interviews from that channel and I'm answering any questions that you guys might have. And also just to let you know, if you haven't already signed up for the absolutely completely free real estate coaching program, that's at zero to diamond.com. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So let's get into these numbers. So, so far this year, uh, listings, okay, sellers that I've represented, I'm at 20 closed for 7 million. Okay, 20 closed listings, 7 million. All right, seven, seven of those closings came after the mid-March shutdown. Okay, after the shutdown happened, I closed seven more listings. Okay, buyers, I've represented seven buyers so far this year. Five were closed after the shutdown. Okay, so those seven that I've closed is four million. So I'm right at 11 million closed. Okay, 11 million closed. Um, that's going to be 27 deals. Okay, and I have 13 pending deals right now. So that's going to be a total of 40. So obviously the pending deals that I have happened after the shutdown. So I've also uh, listed and sold since the since the shutdown a couple I don't I didn't have those numbers right here but I think there were two that actually listed got contract and already closed since the shutdown happened and then 13 more pending so it's about 15 that I've sold if you if you want to call it that you know two closed uh, 13 more pending since the shutdown started okay those 12 pending deals that I have come out to five million dollars. So I'm looking at about 40 deals and 16 million. That's where I'll probably end up about at the half of the year mark. However, there's still another week or two here in May and I'll probably get a couple cash deals in June. And, uh, and so I'll, I'll, I'm guessing at the half of the year mark, I'll end up a little higher than 40 deals and 16 million. So for those of you who don't know, I've been doing this for 18 years. So I've been doing this a long time, a lot of experience, not the best, not the worst, but I am a single agent. I do all this volume on my own. I go to every closing, every listing appointment, I show every buyer, and I go to all the inspections that clients are gonna be at. So I've been doing 100 deals a year since 2014, okay? Every year since 2014, 100, 100, 100, 100. And what do I think is gonna happen this year? <laughs> I think that I'm going to hit it again. I feel like I'm really on track to hit it once again. I'm a little shy this first half of the year. It looks like it could be right under 50 um, but I think I'll make up for that in the bottom half because the market has really really picked up in the last week and I don't know I'm just super optimistic about it even if something weird happens I think uh, if something weird happens that means prices are gonna go down and I'm telling you right now if prices go down real estate is gonna be so easy to sell it's gonna be ridiculous it's gonna be an incredible market if prices were to go down somehow some way with the historically low interest rates and inventory, 
I just don't see it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to share these stats with you, and hopefully that inspires you in some kind of way to get out there and to keep pushing and to keep grinding and to keep fighting. Tune in for those calls tomorrow on my second channel. And also tomorrow, I forgot, big announcement. NARS is going to come out with their, their home sales, their April home sales index. And so I'm really excited to see those statistics and that report, and I'm going to bring it to you right here. So tune in for that as well, and I'll see you guys then. Let me know if there's anything in the world I could do for you, and we'll talk to you soon. Let's go. Kapoor think need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim is straight. I lay in the sand, line in the 